Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with this long-awaited review that y'all have been knocking on our door for about our very first Royal Caribbean experience upon the allure of the seas. And in spite of what we have heard, in spite of the negativity that comes towards us on YouTube for being primarily carnival cruising content, we had a great time, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's talk, talk, let's talk about, about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to hit on everything from the experience. Did it pass the vibe check, the food, the drinks, our cabin, and Royal Caribbean's private island, a perfect day at Coco Key. And at the end, we're going to tell you who we believe would be the perfect person to sail upon Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. All right, fam. We was expecting to get the negative blowback from the laurel to rural people that we get on our channel right let me tell you we got none of that no y'all they those, loved us those they loved and not because we because they didn't know, they, we didn't was, know they, they didn't know we was youtubers they loved us matter of fact um one couple in particular <laughs> said hey i've been, I've been looking, for, looking you. for you i wanted to get you some drinks i said who me you've been looking for me they were like we get all these free drinks and stuff and we like y'all we were like we've been looking for you all night I'm like, so we say like the thoughts that we had towards the loyal to royal people we repent we think different i now. don't repent no, no I'm, let me let me finish. <laughs> I don't. We we think different now. It's not all of you guys, and it's, it's not. It's the ones that are the gangster, yes. the keyboard gangsters. Yes, them. But as far as I feel like, for the majority of you guys, you guys are so nice. Y'all like, y'all passed the vibe check. <laughs> yeah, you yeah you did. Like yeah, we was definitely on guard for that. We were leaning to the world experience, but we was on guard for that, and mm -hmm. we did not. We didn't get, get that. It. We didn't get that nowhere on this ship where well, we felt nothing but love right. everywhere we went. I had one incident that had nothing to do with the loyal to Royals. It was just somebody acting like, right. but I, I nipped that in the bud real quick, <laughs> really quickly. And uh, and then the, the second negative, I don't know if it's a hard negative because it wasn't all the cousins, mm -hmm. but some of the cousins didn't want to speak. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, it was weird. <laughs> uh, but we did have a lot of cousins that did speak, but mm -hmm. it was some cousins was like No matter what you did, did or yeah. it was like Yeah, they just they just kept it moving. Uh so and, we was like, praise the Lord. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And kept on and kept on going. The first thing that we want to talk about is the ship, baby. Once we got on board, we're we're not even gonna go into embarkation, debarkation, because it was smooth. Yes. Just know that it was smooth. Very smooth. So once we got on board and we walked off of that gangway and got to look at the ship, it was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I get <laughs> why everyone says that it just puts you in mind of being in a mall. Yes. It's beautiful. It's breathtaking. And it's like, it just, it tingles all of your senses at one time. You just yeah. kind of just have to take it in and you're like, this is a <laughs> ship. Yeah. You did that, Royal Caribbean. Yeah. You did that. Nice. Very nice. Breathtaking. But the one thing that I will say about the ship itself, as big and as massive, the monstrosity yeah. yes. <laughs> of, that of, the, ship. <laughs> of the allure of the seas was, it was a very walkable ship. Yes. And we quickly figured out why. Um, Royal Caribbean has their ships broken down into neighborhoods. So depending on where it is that you need to be at that particular time would be the neighborhood that you're in. Right. So what we enjoy was it seemed like the forward part of the Allure of the Seas was primarily cabins and nightly entertainment. Yes. So throughout the day, you really stayed midship and, and aft the entire day unless you were a nightlife person enjoyed it because i kept saying as big as this ship is i don't, I don't feel, feel like i'm walking i don't lot. feel like i'm walking a lot right and it was because they have everything broken into those great neighborhoods y'all did that real creepy yeah you did you did that let's talk about the lido deck yeah the lido deck um was to me was large small because right in the middle of it was the boardwalk. You can actually look down and see the boardwalk. You can see our cabin. Then you had a little area for where you can dance, and then you had the area for where the band and the DJ was. Uh, but 
in spite of it being as small as it was, small, big, <laughs> we had a great time at Sail Away. You know, we was able to get out there and yeah, dance. Yeah, we, we were like this, but yeah, we, we, we got it tired. in. Yeah, so just like we stayed with Virgin Voyages, and now we stand with um, Royal Caribbean, Carnival is still number one. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the, a Sail Away party. Come with the Sail Away. Absolutely. But however, if you lean into Royal Caribbean's vibe, on sail away i feel like you will still have a good time you will now these are the things that we actually did and how we experienced and what we thought about mm -hmm. number one thing for us was the aqua show yes. they did that man they i'm did telling that. you did now Sid, them, them get up there on that tall thing and just dive down because when you go, when you get on the ship and you go up to the top and you look down, the pool look like it's about this big. It does. <laughs> and I'm like. So it's almost like it ain't no room for area. Um, era. era. So please don't push off too hard when you jumping <laughs> off that now, player. Yeah. But that we, diving board. Yeah. Yeah. We highly enjoyed that show. Yes. That show was amazing. So if you go on there, don't miss the aqua show the next show we did was the battle of the sexes so that was basically yes. <laughs> that was a show about guys against, against the girls. girls and they had a bunch of games i can't remember all the games mm -hmm. that was playing i don't remember any of the games but it was like <laughs> it was so fun. fun and funny <laughs> it was fun um the next show we attended was the quest what they mm -hmm. called it crazy quest right so of course we went into it comparing it to the carnival like okay how's no carnival's comparison. quest against the royal caribbean quest ah uh, we was a little disappointed we were disappointed because the royal caribbean's um quest is a family friendly quest yeah yeah so if you go to quest you can take your kids your whole family your grandma your auntie all them after after we kind of leaned into it, it was very funny it was funny but it was very safe very safe all right, so the next um, show we attended was Blades. Blades, That yes. was the ice skating show. Mm -hmm. I'm not into ice skating. I'm not either. <laughs> but I was impressed. But I was impressed at the, the level of skill and dedication that they put into that. Like, they just didn't ice skate. They yes. was ice skating with rings and, and hula hoops and, hula hoops and, and all. boxes. Me, and I would have been <laughs> skating on the side, holding like this to make sure I don't fall off. And I was like... Wow. We also did the silent party. Yes. Which um, took place where the nightclub is. And I think the silent party is one of the most unique, yes. crazy experiences <laughs> ever. Because once you walk in and you hear what you're potentially about to sound like, once you put those headphones on, like yeah. everybody's in there. I, 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 uh, this girl is on fire. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's so much going on at one time, but it's just the vibe that you can actually select which song you want to listen to in your headset and just vibe out for a cute little minute. So that's gonna lead us into the nightclub. Yes. Now the nightclub. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and pull your hat down. Bend it. <laughs> bend it down. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but it goes it back good. to saying, like we say, that we wish that cruise lines would let DJs read, read the, room. the room. So the DJ was playing some ratchet music in there. I, I'm giving, he played the ratchet music, but it was a ratchet playlist. playlist. Bring it back when she got some. Bring it back when she got some. And we're not saying ratchet music because it's talking about bees, ho, goose, because that we don't even need to hear that. But we're talking about the music of today that gets yes. people on the floor, floor right. gets people going of all generations and all nationalities. Like it's dance music. Yeah. And it was like once they hit that, the playlist was like, no, nah, now we need to play Britney Spears. But it was, <laughs> but it was about seventy percent ratchet music. It, it, yeah. Yeah. It was. <laughs> no, we was like. I said, oh, bro, y'all getting down okay, like this? Okay, y'all playing that? Okay, I see. I yeah. see. I'm with you. So if you decide to go on the roll, the Laura of the Seas and go to the club, you are going to hear some good music. Just know the floor, the dance floor is small too. Yes. 
All right, so the next thing that we did was, um, for us things to do, and what we did, we did the comedy show. Yeah. Um, comedy show, the, the two guys, they were they were fairly funny. And the last thing that we participated in that's worth talking about, so we did the belly flopping um, contest, which we've seen it being advertised on many, many, many ships. I've never been interested in it, but we just happened to be walking by, and it was, <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious to see those guys competing to see who could splash the best in the pool. Right. And who can look the best while they doing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So these are the things that um that we did not do that you can actually do on the ship. Um they had the flow rider. We did. They had the flow rider. Was, um included. They actually had mini golf. They had basketball. They had volleyball. They had zip lining. Yeah. Um ice skating. Plenty like, of pools, casinos. And, non-smoking casinos yes and, and that was one of the things that we definitely loved about the ship there was like so much to do so it might mm -hmm. not have been something that you, you would wanted be interested to interested in but out of all the stuff they offered there was something for you to do yeah if you said that you were bored it really was because you did not lean in to the experience that royal caribbean has to offer on board also um the ship does have a relaxing vibe mm -hmm. so that's one of the things that we've already been here that royal caribbean is laid back right um it is laid back mm -hmm. but it isn't as laid back as, as you, you think like don't think boring just think that a hey, at certain times you're gonna be able to go out on the lido deck or whatever deck you're going under to have the, the lounge here, yeah. and you just can lay out relax and you know vibe just out be. like that it remind yeah. me a lot of Virgin, which yeah. is a yacht style type of cruising. But right. Throughout the day, most of the time, you're you're in your own zen. Yeah. So you was a person that love a relaxing vibe. You'll get it. Yeah. You're gonna get it. You'll definitely. Get yeah. You're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. If you think that you're gonna go to Royal Caribbean and leave all of the negativity or the negative things that you may have experienced on another cruise line <clears throat> carnival behind, it's not gonna happen. Nope. We experienced a whole lot, a whole lot of Mary Jane on board the Allure of the Seas. We experienced rowdy crowds on Allure of the Seas. And we also experienced security on our floor checking and pulling people out of their cabins to do yep. checks. We can't say it's for the Mary Jane. But uh, I can't. It was for something. It was for something. And this yeah. was the entire duration of our cruise. So I'm not saying that to say that, oh my God, I want to deter you from going on Royal Caribbean. But what I want to say is, like I said, if you think that going to another cruise line is going to eliminate all the things that you may not like or have experienced things that you don't like on another, that's going to solve it. It's not. Nope. So I want to summarize this to say what I feel the overall vibe for Royal Caribbean is. And I told my husband this on board. It reminds me of being in corporate America. Yes. And for your bonus of the year, your boss says, hey, we're sending everybody on an all expense paid cruise for you and you can bring your family along. Take that and copy and paste it onto a Royal Caribbean ship and that's what you have. It felt like a corporate fun trip right. that your boss gifted you because it just had such an array of different kind of people together with their families. Right. It was such a safe atmosphere. They didn't yeah. push any envelopes. Nah. It was just a good friend, family friendly time. The only one that really pushed the envelope um, <clears throat> was, I can't think of her name, but she was like the, I think she was the activities director. Yeah, I'm not gonna call her name. I don't yeah. wanna get in trouble either. <laughs> Cause she yeah. did push the envelope. Yeah, she she pushed the envelope sometimes. She was saying some stuff and I was like, uh-oh. You're gonna get called in the office. <laughs> Say you might lose your job. Yeah. <laughs> but she was so fun though. She was, it she was, was the so fun, fun that we needed right. to be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also wanna preface this by saying, this is our experience on the allure of, of the, the seas. seas. We're yes. not saying that our experience is the blueprint or the law across the Royal Caribbean fleet right. or your experience either. The third thing that we want to talk about is the food and the drinks. That's very yeah, important. Man. Like you're on a cruise, you need to eat and you need, well, you don't need to drink. 
as optional. <laughs> but the first thing that I will say is the solarium, which is the adults only area of the ship. Do yourself a favor on embarkation day, go there, eat at the buffet there. Yes. The food is good. good. The next thing is the wind jammer. We yes. ate at the wind jammer for breakfast only, right? Right, breakfast only. Yep. For um, breakfast only. It was okay. It was edible. But what I did, what stopped us from eating there more often, one, is a buffet. And then two, it was so uncomfortably packed. Yeah. That you never, like, it took us longer to find, find somewhere to sit, sit than it get, did get for us to go and get the food. We also yeah. will say in the wind jammer, they did promote washing your hands, making sure that you wash your hands before you even, We never heard the washy yeah, washy song. You didn't get song. the washy washy song, man. Never. <laughs> never heard the washy washy song. But we will say that we know that the same kitchen that cooks food for the wind jammer is the same kitchen that um that the room service food comes from yeah and we ate a lot of room service food yeah because we just didn't want to go to the wind jammer right so <laughs> room service i will say that the food that we had was good it was good along with the room service food being good we enjoyed that the room service menu was pretty extensive, extensive. you could get a variety of different things came Pretty quickly, honestly. It did. All right. The uh, next stop for us was the main dining room. Mm -hmm. um, first, I want to say that the dining room was magnificent. It looked real it's great. beautiful. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Now, when it came down to the food, eh, it was miss. okay. It was a hit and miss, depending on what you got. Um, just one thing in particular, I remember I got the crab cakes. <laughs> And they were horrible. <laughs> and, yeah. and everybody in our line, a row of tables, mm -hmm. ordered the crab cake. And one by one, they were going back. <laughs> And, and our poor waiter was like, don't order the crab cake no more. <laughs> Nobody's going to like it. <laughs> hey, but my but my um, my shrimp cocktail, I always love shrimp cocktail. But like we always say, you're not um, going to go hungry. You're not going to go hungry. Next thing, Johnny Rockets. That should have been free. It, there's no reason yeah. <laughs> that, that should have been an extra charge. We just say, you know, for our carnival folks that guys got them by a long shot let's just say that <laughs> guys could have woke up in the middle of the night with a hangover and got on that grill yeah and cooked that food and it would have been better than johnny rockets yeah so uh royal caribbean um uh, make that included it should be in included. the price make that included yeah in the price. it's it's not great enough for that charge that you charge all right so let's move on to our specialty dining mm -hmm. so one we went to was called chops Chops Grill. Chops Grill, which is their steakhouse. Mm -hmm. Um, we kind of had a little bit mixed mm -hmm. ideas because even in there, some of the food um was up and down. What is uh, up with the steakhouse? Nobody's steakhouse can do sides. Right. Like yes. your sides are horrible. <laughs> right. So I had mac and cheese and uh, um what is it, cream spinach? Or? Cream spinach, something like that. Yeah. Horrible. Like, <laughs> horrible. Uh, also, I had the filet mignon. Let me tell y'all. Ooh, huh? that filet mignon slapped. We've 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 eaten a lot of places. Yeah, this was the best filet mignon I've, I've ever, ever had. had. Oh. I didn't eat. Okay, let's talk about what I had. I had the ribeye. <laughs> Once I tasted his. Filet mignon. You ain't even wanted no more. I didn't eat mine anymore. <laughs> she started helping me eat mine. Yes. That goes to show you that it was amazing. And I love a good ribeye. And it wasn't a bad ribeye. And then I had the, what they call the colossal jumbo shrimp, something mm -hmm. like that. They were delicious. I had the crab cake and the crab cake was decent. Yeah. It was, it was, it was better it was than real. the one in the dining room. Yes. It had real <laughs> meat in it. I will say that. You also, we also had the lobster bisque. Yes, and that was okay. That was okay. The next specialty dining restaurant we went to was 150 Central Park. Baby. <laughs> Y'all. I would travel. Yes. Far to get that food. That was the best meal that we had on, on the, the ship. ship. Yes. And when I say By meal, far. I'm talking about everything that they put in front of us was but. great. No, it slapped. It slapped. So I started, I started off with the scallops. I started off with the short rib slapped then for my main entree i got the halibut mm -hmm. slapped i got a lobster dish i still right. <laughs> am thinking about it so our waiter decided he said 
you should try the pumpkin bisque. And I was like, I don't want no goddamn pumpkin bisque. I don't bisque. eat pumpkin nothing. He was like, you need to try. I was like, okay. So I was begging for him just to bring me just a little thing. He brought me a Big pretty good bowl. bowl. Y'all, that pumpkin bisque was so goddamn good. I wanted to turn the bowl up to my head. <laughs> <laughs> he came back and he said, I tried I, to tell you. I tried to tell you. <laughs> so for our dessert, I got the fried cheesecake mm. with Nutella drizzle mm. and had hazelnuts. <laughs> Come on now. It was so good. <laughs> but we were so full yeah. that I couldn't even eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got the peanut butter cake. And that's that. Yeah. Yes. And because we had ate ourselves into itis, y'all know what the itis is. Yeah. He said, let me go ahead and get y'all a latte. I yeah. said, we don't need no latte this late at night. He said, oh, yes, y'all do. And here he comes back with two, two, lattes. two vanilla lattes. It yep. was like, here you go. Because of the promo that I booked our specialty dining under, I booked it under the Chop Steakhouse plus one free dining. So with that, unless you book what I heard was the unlimited dining package, you cannot <laughs> schedule <laughs> You're dining until you get on board. Right. I did not like that at all because as a person that do not like to feel like I'm in planning mode once I'm on a ship, that definitely put me in planning mode to make sure that as soon as I got on board, I needed to find somebody to go ahead and make my reservations because I didn't want what I wanted to do or what I thought I wanted to do to, to fill up, up, to book yeah. up before I could get to it. I did not like that. And Amazing. Was good amazing good all right and the last thing we're gonna talk about of course in this section is the drinks we can say overall royal caribbean has some really good drinks okay. now some places were better, better than, others. than others um some places were more stronger than others we say like the drinks that we got over at the pool bar and the drinks that we got at yeah, the scooter, scooter bar, bar mm -hmm. were the best drinks Right. Um, I felt like the drinks were the strongest at the pool bar. Um, so just in case you was wondering kind of what the prices were, the prices of the drinks was between $13 and $14. Hindsight being 2020, um, on day one and day two, everybody was trying to get us to buy the drink package because they had a drink package that it was unlimited. Unlimited, and <clears throat> then it was buy one at regular price. And get half off. And then get half off for the second passenger yes so because of like the prices of the drinks it kind of took us to we we paid for the drink package we did yeah. without <laughs> all the perks of the drink package right so i would say that if you're not a drinker don't get it but if you are a vacation drinker like you know you drinking maybe three if four, you drink over three a day yeah you with might Royal caribbean you're gonna need that package right all right the next thing we're gonna talk about is the cabin which we had the balcony cabin on the boardwalk that we really enjoyed. I was yeah. kind of I was kind of skeptical at first because baby was like, and hey, we're gonna have a balcony, we're gonna be able to look across and be able to see <laughs> other people. I was like, I don't, I don't want I don't, that. I don't, I don't know about that. But, but. It, it, it was not that bad. It was it actually worked. I don't know how it worked. <laughs> but it did. Because it was on the boardwalk, you had the advantage of also having the aft view of the ship so you could still see the water yeah. from your balcony but you also of course looked out and you could see whoever was across, across from us yeah. every day on their balcony so as far as the room we feel like it was your your average, average. balcony room mm -hmm. um nothing really to like rave high about it had plenty of storage when it came down to the bed the bed was very was comfortable. comfortable the bathroom was kind of small um <laughs> Uh, but it worked. Mm -mm. Uh, but but that you shower, know. that mm -hmm. shower, baby, yeah, like you, you got yeah, in the shower <laughs> and and your butt cheeks was on the glass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fluffy girl, but I'm not the fluffiest. My husband ain't fluffy at all. Yeah, I was. If was, his was, butt cheeks are hitting the glass <laughs> just by standing in the middle of the god door shower, it's micro. <laughs> Um, for those of you that like to take like your devices, like your laptops and stuff, the safes is not gonna be able to accommodate it. The safe They're small is very what is very, up with this? Very, very small. So keep keep that in mind. Also, in the room there was only maybe about three plugs. So make mm -hmm. sure that you bring 
your uh, non-surge protected uh, plug with you. Please mm-hmm. do yep. that. Because you don't have a lot of outlets. <clears throat> we felt like the balcony was a great size. It wasn't huge, but I felt like it was perfect. It, yeah, it was it, the uh, shape that made it feel bigger. And then we loved the refrigerator, but we're going to call it a freezer. It was a freezer. Because when we put our waters in there, our waters came out of there with ice, ice. in it. And, and I, I love me mad. some good. I like me some good <laughs> ice cold water. So that that was actually a, a a plus for that. It was a plus. But overall, it was a very nice room. It was. Yes, it was a very nice room. The next thing we want to talk about is the private island, which is one of the reasons that I even booked a Royal Caribbean cruise. If you've heard me say it once, you've heard me say it twice. That at first, I've never been one of the people that wanted to go on Royal Caribbean ever. Right. Ever. But I also wanted to go to a perfect day at Coco Key. I mean, my people say Coco Key. But I wanted to experience that. And when I tell you it did not. It did not disappoint. It did not disappoint. Oh, we had a great time. And the thing that I loved about the private island was, yes, there were opportunities to spend money and, you know, upcharge this, rent this, get it minted to this. But right. for the most part, if you're just a beach bum like myself, there were just plenty of things to do. We went to Oasis Lagoon. Yeah. That's where you have that big pool area, the one that has the swim up bar. Mm-hmm. That's where you have the DJ. Once again, the DJ plays the Caribbean vibe music, but it's a playlist. Yep. You could tell. <laughs> I'm, I'm really in my mind trying to figure out why do you even hire DJs just to make them press play? I don't, that's something I don't understand. Right. But we also went to South Beach. Um, had a great time over there. What we did love about South Beach was once you got into the water on the beach, they had like these tables that had like um, tiki umbrellas yeah. right there. So even when it's hot and that sun is beaming down on you, you could always find like some shelter under one of those and just right. kind of vibe out. Also, they had the floating bar out yep. in the water. So I swam out there and uh, so I could see what that was like. I mm-hmm. didn't get a drink because there was a lot of people on it there. It was packed. Because I captured that for you guys, I killed Lynette's phone. Yeah, I had to, <laughs> I had to had, come back and get another get iPhone. Phone. Yep. <laughs> iPhones, water resistant. iPhone yeah. goes underwater. iPhone does not charge anymore the entire duration of my trip. Yeah, but out out there on the South Beach as well, they had the uh, the cabanas on the water, mm-hmm. so you could rent those. Oasis Lagoon did too. Yeah, Oasis did. They had plenty of spaces for you to sit. They had picnic tables. They had chairs with the umbrellas. So they had included food, right? That you and, could get as well. And of course, y'all, um, they do have a water park that you have to pay for. Mm-hmm. We can't tell you much about that because we didn't pay for it and go uh-huh. over there. Uh, but it looked like people who did go had a had a good time. Had a really good time. All right. And the last thing over there at the private island, we did get the opportunity to go to the snack shack. We did. And we tried the chicken sandwich and the mar the mar mozzarella sticks. <laughs> Wait, say that <laughs> it again. Wouldn't come out. <laughs> the mozzarella sticks wouldn't come out. Uh, we would say that it was it was okay, it was okay. for our experience. Um, it, it was wasn't typical yeah. free, well included. Yeah. Beach. Food. Yeah. So, you know, you won't go, you ain't gonna go hungry. It wasn't terrible Mm-mm. and it wasn't great. It was kind of in the middle. It was in the middle. Yeah, it was in the middle. Once we got to the private island, perfect day at Coco Key. If you wanted to island hop to different islands via the tram, you couldn't do that. You couldn't do it on the same tram. You had to get on a tram, return back to the point that you got on that tram at and then stand in line to go and get on another tram that took you to that part right. of the island. I did not like that because sometimes you don't know where you want to go or get off at until you see it. Right. So for that reason, I feel like we didn't explore Coco Key the way that we wanted to right. because it was just too much hassle to go here. Oh, I'm done here. So get back on the tram and go to point A then stand in line. I didn't like that. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, as promised, we say that we're going to tell you, in our opinion only, who we think that would enjoy being on a Royal Caribbean cruise, especially if you haven't done it before. I think that those people that want the fun, the excitement, the aesthetics, and they have like sailed on another cruise line, let's just say Carnival Cruise Line. So if you feel like you've sailed that and you are naturally 
wanting to experience like the next level of cruising when it comes to the great ships, the aesthetics, but still have the vibe that Carnival has, just not the just not on the level of fun fun as right. the fun ship right. has made it their thing to make sure that you have. If you come on Royal Caribbean expecting to get that Carnival fun vibe, it's going to be fun. You, you're going to be highly disappointed. Highly disappointed. Mm -hmm. But if you come in and you lean into the Royal experience, we feel like cousins, you will have a good time. Yeah. But however... We say we still not going straight out Carnival for Royal. Mm -mm. We Carnival is still on our list. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we would say this is that we wouldn't say I'm I'm just going to do a Royal Caribbean cruise mm -mm. this year. Now, Carnival is still going to be that's in bad. that number. That's 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 yeah. cousin. Yeah, that, yeah. But I, I got to be I got to be selective yeah. when I be on cousin though. We right. already told y'all that. So cousins, we still we still home. Don't get right. it twisted. Right. And then also you had said also that Royal Caribbean do offer a ship that kind of have more of, of the aesthetics of the carnival. Um, not the aesthetics. Not the aesthetics, but the, the vibe. vibe. Yeah. Which ones were those? So when it comes to, like we said, the natural progression of wanting to experience something different, but having that familiar thing that you are accustomed to. I think that Freedom of the Seas is going to be a great choice for you and Wonder of the Seas is going to be a great choice for you to step and dip your toe into the Royal Caribbean experience. Um, just my opinion. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just what I do. It's just what I do. I yeah. research, I look, I listen, and then I bring the information back to you. And how much to prove how much we really <laughs> enjoyed our Royal Caribbean trip. We first went into the My Next Cruise. <laughs> yes. And we bought the package so that we could book another Royal Caribbean cruise next year. Before we even got off the Before ship. Before we got off the ship. Yeah. And to our surprise, mm -hmm. we are booked on the Icon the for the inaugural, inaugural sailing. So, yeah. So, 2024, we're going to be on two Royal Caribbean. So, now that we booked the Icon, we got to decide for that My Next Cruise. Which one we're going to do? Uh, which one we're going to do. All right. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to want to go ahead and check out our experience on the Royal Caribbean ship right here with right. the playlist of the vlogs. And we're going to catch you in the next video. Peace.